This is what it look, looks like when you open Keynote. When you're looking in, on the Classroom set of iPads, it should be under the Mac apps. If you'll just pull down the window shade and type in Keynote at the top of the page, you should be able to find it. When you open it, the next thing you're going to do uh, is if you want to, to add something to Keynote. And to add something to Keynote, you're going to go up to the top of the page, up the upper left, and hit the plus sign or create presentation. And you're going to uh, see that you have lots of options uh, to choose from. And you can scroll through these and find the one that is to your liking uh, in order to uh, give you a layout. Uh, so choose one that goes with the theme or whatever you're going to do. I'm actually fixing to open up one I've already started, so I'm going to cancel out of that one. And I'm going to open this one to show you some things that you can do in Keynote. Uh, obviously, uh, when you're on the first slide, this is the introductory slide and how it looks. I've added uh, text and I've added a, a picture. You can lay out your own slide layouts uh, as seen on this particular one where uh, you have um, a title, you have a text box, and then you have an image. And you do that by uh, clicking on the plus sign at the top of the page on the upper right this time and you're going to choose things that are on your camera roll uh, or you're going to choose from your photo stream if you want a picture or uh, if you have saved something from the internet to your the camera roll of the iPad then you can pull it up from the photos uh, to add to your presentation. You can also add um, the next box over in blue is adding a um, chart or a um, uh, some type of table to your your presentation. The next one is a graph, like if you needed a pie chart to show some information. Uh, you also have the ability to do text and the text box like you see on the screen. You can choose which one you want and then you type in them. And then you also have the opportunity to add shapes to your presentation if that's what you want. So you can add a shape there as well. Okay. On this next one, at next slide, you can see that you got, can have a bulleted list. The stars are from the shapes option. The simple uh, box, of course, is from the text box option, and uh, you have, and then the image. When you get ready to add a new slide, the plus symbol that is in the lower left-hand corner is what you touch, and when you do that, it brings up. Uh, box that looks like this. It allows you to choose what kind of layout you want for your next slide. Uh, you can always uh, alter that if you want to just by adding some of the things like I showed you on the last slide or you can choose one that actually fits with what you're planning to do. You can also animate or choose transitions for uh, different kinds of bills for your items. If you want to choose um, animate an object, just click on the object uh, that you want to and notice that one of the options that you get is animate and that would be in this case the text box. Or if I wanted to animate the picture or something so that it came in later, then I'm just going to click on it and say animate and it gives me the option of build in or build out. That means do, is it want, do I want it to do something interesting as it comes onto the screen or as it goes off the screen. And you can just choose a, the plus symbol again and you've got lots of different things that you can choose from of what you want it to look like. And those would be the type of uh, effects. You can also choose the order. Uh, if you'll notice the one and two on the screen, uh, the one's going to come in first, the two obviously is going to come in second. If I don't animate it, it's going to come in with the slide, so it's not going to uh, wait, in other words, to play. I'm going to play this one so you can see what it's going to look like as it comes in, and that is a, one of the types of animations that you can use. Depending on how sophisticated you want to get with this, you have some other options as well. When I touch the text box, it comes in, and you can see that I've chosen for the words to appear. Uh, it'll, if I choose that again, it brings up a, uh, options uh, at the how long I want that to take, how I want it to do, and mine is I just when I tap my finger, uh, the next thing should come up. It could be after the last transition or um, various different uh, delays. You have different effects that you can use. Uh, you have different options you can use. 
in order. Uh, you can also change the order of the various different things if you're building them in. So those would be from these things down here in order to be able to get that to, to uh, play as you would want it to. Slide transitions where it changes from one slide to the next are also a good idea. Uh, I think they may be more important even than the animations. If you want to add a transition, then you're just going to touch the slide you want to add. And notice this little thing comes up and tells us right now there is no uh, transition from one slide to the next. I can hit the plus symbol and I can choose the one that I would like for uh, it to uh, simulate as it goes through. So I can just choose blinds, for example. And I can play it to see what it's going to look like. And that's what it looks like as it moves from one slide to the next. When I finish making my changes, I can go up in the upper right hand corner and click done. And it takes me back to the uh, regular editing page. Uh, when I get ready to play it, this is the player right here. Uh, so I can go up and touch the player and it will play. Uh, it will start back here at the beginning of the slides, this first one, and choose to play it. Okay, when you open it, it looks like this, and all you have to do is touch your screen for, to make the changes and to advance this. And whatever is supposed to come in next will come in, depending on what the options um, and animation chosen. So it's very easy uh, to uh, change things. If you need to change the si uh, size of an image, you can just double tap on the image and this little box comes up and you can increase it or decrease it as need be and then of course press done when you're finished. Okay, When you're ready to uh, finish up with your keynote, you're going to share it using the button. You're going to choose the SIPI and then you're going to uh, choose to mail it to your teacher usually uh, so you're going to get need that email address uh, depending on which teacher you're, you're sending it to you can probably send it uh, more likely as a PowerPoint uh, because more, more of them will have that on their machines but you might be able to send it also as a keynote so you just choose the format that you're going to send it to and then it's creating the presentation uh, to be able to send and they're saying that uh, uh, that uh, some changes were made depending on uh, what format you chose. And then you just send it in as an email. It should open up and you can send it then as an email. The school iPads will send just from their uh, address location uh, like iPad 12 or whatever. So you need to make sure that you put your name on your presentation.